Right now then, I am in the South Downs National Park. Um, the South Downs National Park is the closest one to London. So it should be quite busy this. I've just come through the coastal town of Eastbourne. Really nice, but it's just kind of like outdated, but I mean, it's quite busy. So I'm just following a coastal path. Just about, quite windy. Just about to jump on the South Downs way. And if I'm not mistaken, it's got the, the largest chalk cliff in the UK. So, show me some nice views. I'm looking forward to this one. But France is just over there. That is amazing. It's even got electrical wires going to the lighthouse. So where I am right now is one of the most pictured places in England, apparently, and it is this. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's called Beachy Head. Pretty easy to get to. There's literally a car park just down there, but... Whoop. Not a chance. That is... very high. I don't know if you can see that, but that is a huge hill coming down, and I've had to come up it. So the South Downs National Park actually covers three counties in England. One is Hampshire, the other is East and West Sussex. So right now I am in, I think I'm in East Sussex, right on the, the tip. But I just I had to come and check this, this amazing place out right next to the cliffs. <laughs> I mean, quite a late one actually. It's probably like 10 to 8. So I've got about an hour, an hour and a bit left of sunlight. Best found the spot, but it's quite busy. One thing I did contemplate, it was going to be busy. Still walkers, There's a little village right back there. So it's gonna be a late one. It is gonna be a late one. So I'm just gonna have to wait just before sunset and then set up. Oh, these views. Doesn't look that high on camera, I promise you. There's a seagull down there and it's about 50 feet off the floor. Let me show you what I've got for food tonight then. So, this is it. Steak and kidney puddings. So these are just Holland. But, steak and kidney puddings, apparently, 
It was first printed in a book in 1861 in Sussex. That was the first known origins of it. So apparently it was invented in Sussex. This then was apparently invented in East Sussex. Pretty much where we are right now, Banoffee Pie. I always thought it was American, apparently not. So, steak and kidney pie on Banoffee. Two pies, wow. That is, I mean, it's simple, nice and unhealthy. Exactly what I need after a hard day's walk. But look at this. Oh my, I'm out the wind as well. It's nice and warm. Got a little seagull joining me right there, watching the sunset. So if you've never seen a steak and kidney pudding, this is what it look like. Just suet pudding with a steak and kidney filling with a nice beef gravy. So I love them. I've always loved them. Even though it's kidney, I don't mind the taste of iron. Like, it's quite nice. So you can, what you can do with these, you can do a lot of ways. You can even microwave these. They come in frozen form. Um, what I do, like this, keep them in the tin foil, And then I'm gonna put some tin foil over the top and then just steam it let it boil and give it about 10 minutes hopefully the gas will last I mean not a bad view to, to cook just realized the moon is out and that leads me nicely onto a fact that I read about the National Park and it is one of the best places in the UK to look at the night sky and it's one of 16 in the world that has a, I think it's the International Dark Sky Reserve status where it's, the light pollution is kind of non-existent when you're, when you're out in a national park like this and it's one of 16 in the world so if I had a good enough camera I've done some night photography. There you go. That should be right now. I flip them on the sides just to get them slightly more, but yeah, that'll do for me. So with these, ah, it's quite hot, but I just do that and plump them out like that. Okay, that's nice. I love, I've loved these for years. So they're pretty warm. I think it'll just be easier to do this. I could eat about 10 of them straight up like this. Think of like a steak pie filling with a bit of kidney and the pastry. Oh, so good. They are one of my favorite foods, I'm not even lying. So the banoffee pie, it's kind of melted on me. I've got all this to myself, like my head, pretty much my head. So I, ca I can't even believe it was invented in East Sussex. Banana and toffee. Wow. Speechless. What a meal that is. I mean, it's like the most lazy, unhealthy meal I could possibly have, but 
The only thing that could top it now is if I had a proper beer, not a, a non-alcoholic. So it's a non-alcoholic tropical IPA, 0.5%. I'm sure it would be nice. Let's have a go. Not sweet. I could down that. It's hardly got any fizz. It's not actually that bad. It take you can tell it's like it's just got a it's got a strange taste. It's not unpleasant, but it's not very sweet. I'll give it a five. Like it's drinkable, but I'll be honest. I'll probably never have non-alcoholic beer again. There we are then. I mean, look at these colours. As I was putting the tent up though, you see like my handprints. The dew point is just well, it's right now. So yeah, I think it's because the clouds have just passed. So there's, there's just lots of moisture in the air. It feels really weird. I haven't really experienced this. But we are quite literally a meter away from that cliff. So hopefully it doesn't fall. Uh, it's just basic kit, a bit of warm kit, but it's, it says it's going to stay about 14 degrees tonight, which is really, really warm. Breakfast, my favourite. One of them coffee brewers, and then croissant with chocolate. That's pretty much it. Bare bones camping. I'm really happy I picked this spot, actually. Just notice the lighthouse has come on. There you go. Once every 15 or 20 seconds it does. Oh no, there's another. It's a regular. I don't know about the tide, but imagine if you could get down there. No, it probably comes in, doesn't it? So any ships out there at night, that saves them. I wonder how old that is, that lighthouse. I wonder how they even get it there and like why would they choose that there? Unless it was connected, it's just been eroded.
morning. Tell you what, I had a really good sleep. Like, seriously good. I woke up to, I think there's two guys on the hill. They had a drone. I heard a drone go over the top. I thought I was dreaming. I thought it was mine. <laughs> it was like, anyway. So yeah, that was about 5 to 5. It was probably dark about half past 4 in the morning. That is, yeah. So, I think right now it's about half 5. There's a couple ships out. Well, I think there's little fishing vessels. That is my view from the tent. One of the best ones, probably. This is one of them spots where I was like, have I made the wrong choice here? Last night it was, it was pretty difficult to find a, a good spot where it was kind of out of the way and it was relatively flat with a good view. I think I, I, think I, I, think I found it. I'm glad I did. There's so much cloud though. He said it was going to be quite clear, but out to sea it's quite clear actually. Oh, it feels good to be up so early. So that is 13 national parks done, just two to go. This is one of the better ones. Not gonna lie. The ocean, tick. And that view is pretty amazing. Okay, well, I'm gonna pack away, set off, so I've got a pretty big trek. <sighs> I love summer. There we are then, right there last night. That was actually a perfect flat spot. South Downs National Park, thank you. Just cleaned up everywhere. Cut as a runner up there. What a place.